With cooler temperature and the holidays approaching, chances are you're going to be doing some entertaining. So why stick to the regular old recipes? Let's amp them up a notch. And that's why I called on Chef Brian Riggenbach, chef and partner of the Mockingbird yes. here in Nashville, to do some incredible tastes of what you do in the restaurant. Exactly. I can't believe you're sharing this with well, us today. Well, it's our pleasure. Well, I'm so. so excited. We're going to be doing one of the favorites that I hear. Don't yes. worry, Brie Happy. Correct. Can I sing it? You Don't can. worry. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you I feel like try. you can't just say it. Okay, so this is not your average grilled cheese. No, what we do, it's a modern diner with global twist on comfort food. Okay. So the whole idea is just to take um, foods that people have been comfortable with, mm -hmm. that they know, that they right. love, and just put a little bit of a spin, just kind of elevate that. Okay, so you're taking so, a baguette right now. Yes, and talk we've to us sliced about what up a baguette. And we have a heavily whipped brie that we mm. put on in the middle. Okay. Um, at home, you could substitute alouette yep. or um, you can mix cream cheese and some brie together. Okay. Whip so that you're up taking yourself. a brie round that you've cut the rind off of and literally put it in a, in a mixer. In a mixer. And just let it go. Let it go. Until you get this beautiful, creamy, gooey. Love. It's everything for me not to just do this. <laughs> you can. Right. I'll leave it for you. So we make our own pepper jelly. Again, if you're entertaining, mm. this might be something there's a lot of, especially here in Nashville, wow. um, nice artisanal yeah. um, shops and things that you don't the have to. The farmer's market at, has at The farmer's versions, market yeah. has a ton at Batch okay. Nashville. They do a really yes. good job. Love it. That's what I was um, thinking. Uh, so there's a lot of products out there okay. if you don't want to make your own. Okay. I would highly recommend making your own chimichurri. Yes. It's something that has about 10 to 15 minutes of just chopping right. up uh, a bunch of herbs, garlic, shallots, and then Is you just mix it together with some oil? white wine vinegar, okay. or red wine vinegar, yep. and uh, olive oil, and you're good to go. And you can just put that in the food processor too, right? You can. Okay. Yeah. And that's going to be a garnish later, though. But that's, that's what we're so going to top it off with. Okay, so, so we're not we making this today, sandwiches. but this is coming home with me too. Yeah. Okay. Please. Okay. So that's copious just, amounts of butter, I'm guessing. I don't know if that's copious. Not copious. I think what what is copious in a restaurant versus at <laughs> home. <laughs> it's very. We we like butter. We, let's just say that. That's why we like to eat out. Oh uh, yeah, okay. yeah. If you only knew. Right. Uh, we love oh butter. Gosh. And this is super easy. This I mean, is just taking no time. No time at all. Okay. You know, the time is all in the prep. Now, what's good for entertaining too is that you want something that's not going to take a lot of your time away, because you want to be able to enjoy your guests. You right. know, you want to be able to enjoy the party and not get stuck in the kitchen the whole right. night. Right. And so. these are what I like about this too is that it seems decadent, but it's smaller. So one nice little bite has all the flavor, all the gooey cheese, the mm. little bit of heat from the pepper jelly, the nice herbaceous uh, chimichurri. Yes. So it's really a really a crowd pleaser. So when you do this in the restaurant, are you getting a, a full plate? Are you, or is it coming bigger? How do you serve it typically? So it depends when you come in. So okay. for lunch and happy hour, there's three pieces to an order, and then okay. for dinner, there's four pieces to an okay. order. Okay, and you, you guys, sorry. No, go on. You guys are mixing things up now for autumn. You have yes. some new flavors. We have a you whole still have new, these, We right? have these are a staple. They won't come <laughs> off. There might be a small mutiny if we try right, to remove right, it. Right, 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 right. But we have um, about two thirds of the menu is super seasonal. So okay. we just came out with our fall menu last week it. and that's mm. very exciting. We're going to be, you can smell that oh already. Oh my gosh, you just how great you smell getting. all those, no I mean obviously the butter and I love, I've always buttered the bread. This is so much easier by just putting the butter right in the pan. Yeah, you can just butter the pan. You could butter the bread too. But, but then it's hard and then you, it's uh, clumpy. It's a lot of work. All right, yeah, okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, while that's cooking, you have something else that you are showing over there that looks equally delicious. So Talk to these us are about our tachos, tachos. Which is really great mm. and easy to do for a big party. Okay. So we start with a layer of tater tots. Yep. This is like every kid's dream right. grown up. Every adult child's every dream adult too, child, right? Every like child gives us an excuse to eat tater tots. We make a lamb chili, so it's a little bit different than your average mm -hmm. chili. Uh, ground lamb, then all the you know tomatoes and three oh beans. We top it off with the beer cheese that we make, and then poblanos rajas, which are poblanos that are roasted and cooked down with beer yes. and um, onions. Pickled red onion and some scallion with a little Delicious. crema on top. All right, we're going to be eating here. Tell everyone <laughs> where they can find you at the Mockingbird. The Mockingbird's right in the North Gulch at 121 12th Avenue North. Mm -hmm. And we're open seven days a week. We do brunch Saturday and Sunday, lunch Monday through Friday. 
and okay. dinner seven nights. Great. Thank you so much for Thanks being for here. Thanks for having us. Hope you can eat this with us soon. Mm.